What is up, my Autodesk community? It's the Revit Guru, aka Revit Ryan here, with some more tips and tricks for your everyday uses in Revit. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to collaborate a new file so you can save it as a central file to your network, and I'm going to be showing you how to create new work sets in Revit. So go ahead and hit subscribe, like, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment below. Let me know how I can help you guys out. Let's get this Revit. What is up, guys? Okay, here, so I have a new project. I'm just going to click new. I'm going to click new, and I'm pretty familiar with uh, mechanical MEP, so I'm going to go ahead and use a mechanical template here. We're just going to click template, and we can create projects or templates, but for this uh, go-through, we're going to go ahead and just create a project. So make sure project's clicked. And here we go. I have a new project here. Um, um, a Revit go ahead and, and gives you a few default floor levels. I'll go ahead and go for, into further detail about those in a later tip tutorial. And as you can see, my background's black here too. Um, you can watch the previous video for that. So what we're going to do is go up to the Collaborate tab up here on the ribbon. And we're going to click Collaborate. And what this does is this is going to collaborate our work with our um, central network. But in order for us to get it to link, or I'm sorry, not link, in order for us to get it to uh, centralize or save on our network, we're going to have to save it twice. So let me show you real quick. So go ahead and just um, hit collaborate. You're going to find out where you want to save your file on your network or something somewhere. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this randomly. I'm going to click options here. And as you can see, make this a center file is grayed out. And this is only the first time you're saving it. So we're going ahead and we're collaborating it so we can make it a central file. So I make my change my um, backups to three, sometimes it's 20. We're gonna click save there. As you can see, we're saving real quick. And this is just gonna ask me if I wanna uh, collaborate with my network or put it online, like the BIM 360 online. And we just wanna click the first one there to save it on our central network. And now it should be a saved file. We're gonna go up here and check. I wanna do the same process again to make sure that it is a central file on my network. So I'm, I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna go save as one more time. Save as project, okay. And then I'm gonna click on my options again. And you can see, make this a central file is automatically checked on. And I was saying earlier, um, your backup sometimes defaults to 20 or something random. I like to change it to something small, maybe three. So I want you all to go ahead and hit save here. I'm gonna hit cancel because I've already created a central file and collaborated it for this tutorial. But once you hit save, it should collaborate and you should have a central file now. And the little box next to the save button up top there should activate and you should just be able to synchronize every so often. And so now what I want to do is create work sets. So right to the right here on the ribbon, it says work sets. We're going to go ahead and click work sets. And it gives you a couple default work sets here. I like to uh, rename the work set one. I like to keep my shared levels and grids work set. So what we're going to do is just going to rename this one. I'm familiar with MEP. So I like to create a plumbing's work set and a mechanical work set as well as a links work set so I'm just gonna rename this one to links I'll explain why here in a second so we just rename that first work set to links and to create a new one we're just gonna hit new here I'm gonna create a plumbing one and a mechanical one so what work sets to kind of like explain them I guess I hate to do this but to compare to CAD for those of you for those of you who are familiar they are kind of like layers in Revit. Let's not call them layers. They are work sets. But basically what you can do is you can put your work or your quote unquote drawings on these different work sets and you can make them editable or non-editable so people can't touch them. And or you can filter them on and off in different views and sheets on your views, which I'll go into a little more in depth in some more, um, further tutorials. But for this one, I'm just showing you guys how to create work sets and kind of get familiar with them. So you can see up top there, I activated my uh, plumbing work set. It'll ask you to activate the latest. And if we go down to the bottom here, these are all the different work sets we've just created. See, so there's my links, my mechanical, my plumbing, and my shared levels and grids. And 
whichever work set is activated is the one you're going to be drawing on. So this one is a Lynx work set. And for the next tutorial, um, I'm going to go ahead and be showing how to link in Revit links. And that's why we created this Lynx work set. So we can put in all of our different discipline links on this work set. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope uh, this helped you out a bit. And um, if you want to learn how to change the background, I've already created one for that. That's why my background's black. And for the next one, we're going to be going into depth a little bit into Revit links and linking those in. I hope this helped you out. And go ahead and hit that subscribe or leave a comment. Let me know if I can help you out some more. Thanks. Thank you all so much for joining me for this tips and tricks video. If you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that bell. I'll be dropping tips and tricks weekly for you guys. If you have any questions, go ahead, leave a comment. I can reply. Let me know what else you guys need help with in Revit. I'm here for you, my Autodesk community. So if you support the movement, you love what we're doing, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe, hit that bell. And the Revit Guru, a.k.a. Revit Ryan, will be here for you next week. I'm going to be showing you all how to insert Revit links in the next video. And then we'll keep going. The overall goal is to hopefully be able to get you guys to be able to set up your own project on your own. And I'll make a playlist of all my tutorials so you guys can be able to set up a project. So again, thank you for joining me. Hit that like, subscribe, and bell. And I'll see you all soon. Peace.